So this week, I am going to show you my recent trip to Paris. Now, I'm going to give you a warning. You guys need to get used to a lot of content that's going to show you Paris because I love Paris. It's my favorite city in the world, and I am always going there. So if you're a fan of Paris, you're going to love everything you're going to see coming out in the future. But I went to Paris with my sister, Isha, and we like to call each other Team V. And we had a wonderful time, but we went, of course, to see the very last show of Virgil Abloh and to celebrate him and also to see his last works, which are really pieces of art. Today, we are here in Louis Vuitton at the Place Vendôme store and I'm with all my friends and we are selecting an outfit for tomorrow's show and it's Virgil's eighth show for the men's collection. It's also his last show and I've been, anyone who follows me on social know that I, I love Virgil and I'm so inspired by him and so broken hearted over what's happened but also still celebrating his accomplishments because there's still things to celebrate about his life. So looking forward to what I might choose. We have a few options, I don't know what's gonna happen, but regardless, it's about a celebration, and I'm so excited to be in Paris because I'll take any moment to be in Paris anytime. So I tried on a lot of clothes. Getting ready for a fashion show is not that straightforward because you do wanna put your best foot forward. You wanna wear something that's very you. So I'm so grateful that I have my friends, Mia and Andrea from Louis Vuitton to help me do that, put my best foot forward. I love this one. I could be I, Janet Jackson. This is very rich occasion. Two, three, three, two, three, two, one, three, two, one. So that's a wrap for today. We literally just got to Paris and we're exhausted. I did not sleep on the plane. It's like a nine hour flight. And I've been intermittent fasting, so I haven't eaten in like 18 hours. So we're gonna just go to bed, eat something first, then go to bed, get up early tomorrow to get started because there's a lot to do to prepare for the show. Andrea's gonna think about what outfit that I should wear. He always makes those choices for my last shows too. And um, then we have lots to prepare for. Like hair and makeup actually takes a little while. I don't wear hair and makeup too often, but in this occasion, yes. So tomorrow we'll do it all. I just finished my so hair. How are you going to do it? The Abe, the Nubalian? Yeah, the Nubalian? Because, um, no, the Nubalian? It's gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry. It's gorgeous. Sorry. I love it. And the makeup. Uh, and the right now I'm going to change out of my just robe and my boots. So you're not I've never worn a yes, robe with a boot before, but it could work with the hair, right? Mm -hmm. What if I just wore this? It's yeah, like, oh yeah, Virgil didn't have a chance to show this look, but uh, this is the one I'm wearing. And a little lotion, too. Because okay. these dry legs are a problem. On our way to Virgil's last fashion show, which happens to be number eight. And um, it's gonna be exciting to be there. Came a long way. Apparently Isha meant to bring her sunglasses. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. I'm sorry. No, no. I meant to bring this my sunglasses because it's gonna be, um, <laughs> it'll be emotional, so. I mean, it couldn't be more emotional, I hope, than the one in Miami. That was just heartbreaking. I just wanted to go home after that. I was like, let me get out of here. This is too much mm. for me. Here, since you needed cream. Which water can I have? I'm wondering, me too. I want some if young. I'm just joking. <laughs> She's looking at me like oh, this ain't work. <laughs> I got it. I, I was told I drank her water again this morning, so and I actually drunk. found your champagne in the closet. <laughs> I know what I did and what I didn't do. I didn't open. I didn't bag. touch your bag, Isha. Okay, okay, okay. 
I don't understand why you're obsessed with that. No, I'm not obsessed with that. I didn't even break it up. It you was brought it up. It you was have dark. Both I wasn't like y'all, so looking for champagne. You guys can share. You have your own and she has her own. I'm not drinking no water because I keep getting accused of drinking water. Don't drink any. Don't drink all the water you want. I don't care. I literally did not bring up the water conversation. We're about to arrive to this show and we got all dolled up. I feel like Isha took the cake. She looks amazing. I want her look. Oh, thank you. Very sweet. You're welcome. I'm sure. You'll wait you till really did think I'm cute. I'm gonna get her water when she's not looking. Oh, of course. I am gonna get the water. <laughs> it's done with you guys. <laughs> okay, we're about to get out of the car. So we are here at the LD fashion show. We're wearing Virgil's stuff and his vision for this is pretty amazing. Can you guys take a look at this? <laughs> I got a bed, there's a bed in the background. There is also a, a working chimney and behind there is an orchestra. What a vision, incredible. I can't wait to experience it. I just wish he was here to experience it with us. You just have to wonder what else Virgil would have dreamed up and how much further he would have pushed fashion. And people don't realize how important fashion is in life. It really affects the world. It affects everything. So it is a, a beautiful art form in which we get to express ourselves or not as much as we, as we want or, or don't. Can we talk about the show? How dope yeah. it was? Like yes. I, honestly, the concept of this whole dream state was yeah. just so incredible. Mm -hmm. And then to have all of that stuff going on at the same time. It's no, you know like how when you dream of something, you can't really capture all of it. Mm -hmm. And so you try to remember different parts of your dream. Mm -hmm. I totally got that. Cause like there was always something going on and it was like it was hard to even in. There was. It was it amazing. Was always, there was, and we were in amazing seats because we got to see the bed, the the bed scenes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, by the orchestra, you got to see the orchestra, and that was beautiful. But we got to see all what was happening, and, like. And where we were sitting dream. too, we could see the roof. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you could see the bed scene. You could see what was happening on the roof when they were up there doing those yeah. acrobatics and dances. Moves. Moves. Those were the two areas, actually. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So great. I thought the, the bed spot. scenes were b most terrific, though. Mm -hmm. the and the trampoline, trampoline behind, line. behind the, the, trampoline. the yeah. behind yeah. the staircase. I was like, oh my gosh, a lot of people can't even see the trampoline. Yeah. Maybe from different angles you could see it though, the way they yeah. set it up. You know what I mean? Well, you couldn't really see the trap. They had it hidden, so it just so looked. Just the it was the illusion the of these people right? just jumping out of nowhere. It was like. That Where did it come from? Exactly. <laughs> and there was so much things happening together. There was so much happening. That you had to, you know, be, be quick. quick. Yeah. I kept oh. tapping Venus like, don't miss this. <laughs> yeah. Don't and I had to stop because I was like, I'm ruining it for her. I'm like, I got to leave her alone. you're ruining it for yourself too because you're like, oh, Because I just wanted her to see so much. That fur bag <gasps> with the, with, it was like, uh, uh, what's it called? It was like, 
tri-colored. And if right? they make the tulle skirt, I'm going to want that. that one, yeah. yeah, I saw that. That was like, I was like, I, mm, you she's know what? Want the because skirt. where I was oh, in tears, I was like, oh my God. And yeah, when the team came out, I just, yes. I couldn't. I was like, this is a lot. Yeah, I was so happy. Was, I'm happy. I was so happy, happy, but at the end, I was sad. And then the song, I think, was just so like, appropriate. Major, emotional. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know? But the uh, collection is, is is the new and the first collection of Virgil and the last collection of Virgil. You know he, mm -hmm. how he started very sporty mm -hmm. and then how he was trying to move the collection a bit into the tailoring classic, mm -hmm. mix matching with the sport. And this was both of them. Yeah. From the beginning of his career with Louis Vuitton until the end. And it was right on this. I uh, just wish they would just keep with those next collections. But <laughs> maybe they'll like re release it and you know least to see what he was thinking but I guess we got to see it sort mm. of you know mm -hmm. bit, like honestly, we got to see some of the kind vision. of what the, the thought was behind it exactly yeah, definitely mm -hmm. that was it Oh, just I just I it was can't. so moving mm -hmm. it was incredibly I felt moving. so inspired I was like okay I have to be better and like the tapestry suit yes the dancers the contortionist right the just the it whole thing. thing it was a show it, it was, was an artistic show, show. show. I mean, having somebody fall down on purpose. I was Every time I thought my, my knees would never survive. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, mine wow. either. Mine That's, either. No. <laughs> surgery. Never. No. Immediately, no. Okay, so here's a secret part that I'm going to share with you. After the show, there's the Reese. And a lot of people don't know this, but there is a private viewing of everything that you saw on the runway. So it's so wonderful to get up close, be able to touch everything. And if you want to also make a order before it comes out. Now remember the collection doesn't come out for six months. So it's a great opportunity to get your hands on some really cool things that you might not ever have a chance to, you know, even touch. So it's a really fun part of the show. Okay, so here is my look. I am adding a link to everything that I could find online so you can take a look at it. Except for the shoes. Those were a prototype and I actually borrowed them. They were from the fashion show for fall winter and I actually had to get them back after. <laughs> so that was Paris, but that's not all. I've got more from this trip that I'm gonna share with you next week. This was a very special fashion show, so I hope that you loved a glimpse behind the scenes. If you like this video, please hit like, subscribe, and we'll be back for more. Be well, be safe, take care, and I'll see you next week.